Finding solutions to a long-standing prostitution problem. A South Bay community is applauding efforts by the district attorney to help clean up their neighborhoods. That effort includes issuing stay-away orders for people arrested for prostitution. NBC Bay Area's Damon Trujillo shows us what's working in the Spartan Keys and Washington communities. It's a story you'll see only on NBC Bay Area. Prostitution remains illegal in California, but loitering for the purpose of prostitution is not. And so the DA's office says it's trying to put some tools back in its toolbox. Families say they see it all the time on South 1st Street in San Jose. Prostitutes walking the sidewalk waiting for a customer. It's always here. I can drive over to Walmart on a Sunday morning and I always see somebody out. 10 in the morning on the weekends. Rosalinda Aguilar is on the board of the Washington Neighborhood Association and is fed up with the ongoing issue. She's glad to see the district attorney filed this on Thursday. It's called a bench brief and it asks the courts to consider stay away order for anyone involved in prostitution cases. What we're asking for in court at arraignment and as part of a um, sentence, as part of a conviction, is to stay away from that area where sex work is happening. If a judge approves a recommendation, it would affect the First Street area between Virginia Street to the north and Alma Avenue to the south. It also extends west to Almaden Avenue. The Neighborhood Association says that area is home to five schools where students are all too familiar with the street scenes. Seniors, juniors, sophomores, even as young as freshmen that go to DCP walking down First Street get catcalled, get solicited, and that's not right. In the bench brief, the prosecutor included the picture of a young boy during a litter cleanup event. He's picking up a used condom he found in the neighborhood. This is a community of families. This is a residential neighborhood. And it's really sad and disheartening that this is what they have to see every day. The DA says in the end, it will be up to the judge to decide whether to order prostitution suspects to stay away and will have to be decided on a case-by-case -case basis. In San Jose, Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.